Florida woman Julie Dennis has made a whopping $20,000 in the midst of the pandemic by putting her entrepreneurial cap on and selling something you honestly will never have guessed. And I got all the details of what she has sold coming up for you right now on IO. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mackenzie here and today on the channel, I'm going to be filling you in on what one Florida woman sold to make 20 grand. But before we jump into it, make sure to like and subscribe below. Also click the bell to know exactly when we post and so you can join our weekly Roundup Live chat. That happens every Friday at 1 p.m. So after Julie Dennis was a surrogate for a child in August of 2019, she was left with tons of extra breast milk after the child turned six months old and no longer needed it. So the 32 year old decided to make some money as well as help some families out in the process by selling them her breast milk. She charged roughly 90 cents per 30 mils of milk and she's targeting families who are raising surrogate children and are unable to get milk for whatever reason. And Julie has invested so much time into the endeavor that it's practically turned into a full time job. But although many are intrigued by the story, Julie has actually faced tons of criticism for her decision to sell milk. But she's reacted to the haters by explaining that she already has the milk. So why not share with those that need it and make some more money during these trying times? Continuing quote, I get comments that shame me for asking for compensation for my time spent pumping because a lot of people think it's free for me to make. So why would I charge for it? I spend hours a day hooked up to my pump daily, which is time away from my family. She also takes a lot of care to ensure she is taking every precaution necessary and everything is as clean as possible. She also explained that she's had two main customers and she helped nurse those children until they were one. She also added that she thinks it's crazy that people want the milk for free because it not only costs money for formula, but breast milk is much more fragile and nutritious. Every month, Julie estimates that she pumps about 15,000 ounces or 443 liters, which is obviously an insane amount of anything. And she stores it all in bags in her freezer before shipping them out with ice packs. But as you would expect with practically anything on the internet, Julie, of course, has to deal with creeps asking for gross stuff from her. She gave an example of one man asking her to film herself doing the pumping for proof that the milk is hers. Ugh, just so good. This is why I don't sell anything on the internet, just the people you have to encounter. And she says she always just quickly blocks people once those requests are made, and I cannot blame her at all for that. And obviously a service like this that can help new families is amazing. But the Daily Mail article on the topic outlines some risks associated with buying milk from a stranger. With one point stating that the milk changes as the mother nurses and the baby gets older. And her milk might only be suitable for babies at a certain stage in their lives. Another point was that breast milk is different depending on the sex of the baby. So if they don't align there, it can cause some issues. But for my opinion, I still think this is a great idea. I'm sure these families buying are more than willing to pay really any amount for the milk because it's something that they badly want. So if both parties can benefit, I, I really don't see an issue at all. So that's all for the story, guys. Let me know your thoughts on it below. Would you ever buy or sell breast milk? <laughs> but before we head out, I'm gonna respond to some comments from my video on the Demelios cheating like cheater, cheater, pumpkin ears. Ugh, hate to see it. Katie Ruiz said, is it just me or are her parents trying hard to be famous too, but aren't, LMAO. Yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable. Like why do her parents have to be so involved in everything? It's the same with Addison Rae and her mom too. Um, I don't know what it is about these TikTok kids getting their whole family involved. I guess for the Demelios, since the sisters are so heavily involved, maybe it would make sense for the parents. And Charlie's only, um, I think like 16. So a parent does need to be living with her. Like she can't just be living on her own. Then Shauna Miller said, who cheats in a charity game? People with zero self-confidence. Honestly, yeah. I think that's the best way to look at it. Like how? But also you are li like, they are literally so famous and like they're exploding right now. So like you don't need the clout. Cause even though it is a charity game, like the longer you're in it, the more clout you're getting, right? From more people like seeing your face and knowing your name and stuff. So it's like, they don't need the clout. Like other people do. It's so annoying. Then Asterism Affirmations said, honestly, Jimmy handled this so well. His response was so calm and mature while not averting the topic. He doesn't get enough credit for that, to be honest. He really doesn't. That response was so mature. Um, and you could tell during the games, like his, um, his crew that were hosting were like, they were like, oh, like 4v1, like that's kind of suspect. Like people were low key calling it out, but what are they gonna say? Like, hey, Demilio parents, like GTFO, like you can't, 
do that. It's such a fine line. So he did really well at making sure for the last round it was just one person and doing these other things. But I agree, like literally <laughs> Mr. Beast for president. He is so, he's so great. I love him. All right, everyone, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around. If you made it all the way here, I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.